Okay, uh, Tracy had a question about uh, the Exert Adaptive Training Advisor and uh, some of the XSS goals. And why don't you go through some of the questions that you had for yourself this morning when you were riding? My question today was just on the workout goal. Okay. But it relates back to frustrations I've had with exert. Frustrations with exert, okay. Before. And I guess my first, this isn't really about today, but my biggest frustration was the exert and why I quit using it. I kind of stopped using it as of lately. Was I can never, I go between about two stars and two and a half stars. Okay. No matter what I do, it's two to two and a half. I mean, I can ride, I mean, I build, I know how to build a program and I take months building a program and I've never gotten to, you know, maybe, maybe briefly I've gotten to three stars Okay. and I immediately lose it because I just, you're exhausted. It doesn't matter how slow I build. I can't get any further than that. And I have to back off after that. Okay. And I never really get below two either. I really haven't been riding lately and totally inconsistent. I really haven't been training other than just what I wanted to do. Okay. It's two to two and a half stars. Got it. No matter what. And then I go onto the forums and everyone's talking about, oh yeah, you know, I had surgery three months ago and now I'm only at four stars and I've been, I'm like, well, how do you even get to four stars in three months? Okay. You know, I've never even gotten to, you know, three and a half stars in a year. Okay. All right. So let's look at these things one at a time. First of all, uh, let's go back to the day on Thursday when you had a breakthrough on September the 10th. I think you and I were talking through text messages when that was going on. So let's take a look at it. Okay. So it shows a good little ride, mountain biking, and you had some really good climbs. You bit into your MPA. And this was actually a day after a long, longer, harder, not really hard, but long ride. Okay, well, let's look at it. So, which I expected to be tired, but I wasn't. So here's a Wednesday ride, and then there's the Thursday ride. All right, right there. So yeah. Wednesday the 9th, you had a 43-point ride based on the numbers. And then Thursday, oh, I you were and I, about the other one. No, I'm doing this, the, the, an old one, okay? Because okay. so, that was a silver medal, okay. okay? But one of the things I'm noticing immediately is that, you know, in the time that you took off, you went from 195 watts of threshold down to 191 watts of threshold. Again, that's going to change a little bit just because, okay? You know, it, it's a question of how much time and how much intensity you do. Um, the consistency alone will make a difference, but you're also okay. saying that right the consistency is giving you, but you're also saying that the consistency is giving you, um, that the inconsistency is, you're fatigued no matter what. All right, so let's take a look at this. Well, you're, it's hard to spot which days I'm gonna be fatigued and which days is not, which, which right now is expected. Uh, my training is not structured, it's not consistent. Right. But even when I would train consistently and build and pay attention to it, you know, and build three weeks and drop, right. you know, for months at a time, I, it's, it's like, you know, nothing really changes in terms of the stars or... Okay, so in the last three months, we show a 201, and we show a 201 again today on your threshold. Thre threshold's kind of the traditional value that we're looking for, okay? When we look at the fitness signatures, we can see that your HIE floats between 17.8 and you know 17.1 all right now your threshold there was 201 your threshold here is about 200 to 201 it's going to float a little bit around like a bobber if you'll notice after uh our good ride on saturday tracy and i had a really good ride together in which we had a bunch of base time together um your lower threshold jumped a number of points. See that 147 to 159 right there? And that's honestly where, again, and this is where I fall short, and this is you know where, we, where, where both of us could work, that's where we need to be working because we don't spend enough, when we mountain bike, we're doing too much intensity. And too much intensity, as you know, leads to a plateau. So that could be the reason right there. Well, I mean, today is, you know, I can't really pinpoint it, expect anything out of my training as of lately. Okay. But if you, if you go back a year and you could, you know, I don't know if you can do that here on the exert. Yeah. But you can see like, you know, the summer, the, the fall I first moved to Reno. Okay. I mean, I would go out and I would ride and I would ride base. I would ride, you know, long hilly rides, you know, not like 
five hours during the week, but I you know get two and a half, three, three and a half hours on during the week and then longer on the weekend. And I had beautiful builds. Okay, we'll take a look at that. And nothing really, you know. You don't think it made a difference? Well, I do think it made a difference, but in terms of, you know, looking at stars and everything on exert, I, it, it didn't. Okay. Like I still had, I got the two and a half, I think. Okay, so let's and let I this thing. Off that two and a half. All right, so let's go to 2018, and let's now move to. See, you moved here in September of 2018, right? I think yes, you did. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's take that all the way. There's July of 2019, right before I moved here. You can here. see how it's, it okay. builds. So we're going to zoom in. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to take XSS out of the picture. We're going to take uh, form out of the picture. And can I see the screen? That yeah, they're on the screen right now. And so if we even take threshold out of the picture, we can see a nice beautiful training load going up. Now, did you ever get to three stars? No, you didn't. And again, we can work on exactly why you didn't. Yeah, but because this is, like look at September to April. It should be enough time to get another star. You right? should have been able to get another star. I don't disagree with that, okay? But I think it has everything to do with the way we've got this thing set up, and we're gonna change that, okay? If we look at the accompanying threshold power, we can see that it was fairly static up until the very end. Okay, in June, uh, June 25th, you know, that's June 28th, when I doing those local races. that's when you started doing the local crits, and again, that's when you got I had the. A great summer. You had a great, a great summer. summer, exactly. You had a lot of good, got a lot of good races. Um, okay, so let's look at the way this whole thing is set up for you. We're going to start by going to your account settings, okay? And the first thing we want to look at is your upcoming date. We've arbitrarily set for November the 14th, which I think is the same date as mine. Actually, I think I've set mine for the number of the 20th. We're both going to try to do the uh, truck rote 341 climb on that Saturday and see if we can no, reach our 20-minute MMPs. Right There's no racing going on right now, exactly. So um, that's what we're going to do there. So then, is this weight correct? Um, maybe one or two pounds off. Okay, so it's 123? No, I'll go up. Okay. Too much ice cream. Okay, 126. You're not 42 anymore. 44. 44, and now you've got 20 years of experience. So we haven't changed anything in a long time, okay? Now, we'll save that, and let's go to athlete type. Now this is something we should think about. That climb is going to take each one of us at least 20 minutes. So with your blessing, what I'd like to do is move down the slope to either the climber or to the sprint time trialist so we can optimize uh, the adaptive training advisor based on that. Okay? So we'll switch to this. Where was I before? You were at the uh, five minutes breakaway specialist oh, yeah. because that was what we were when, we, when we were living at flat land. Okay? So we're going to save that. Now, let's go back and let's look at your profile. And we've got you set it to 22 and 12, 22 and 12. Okay, now, if we come over here, do you believe that the fitness decay is correct? Or do you think that you hold on to your fitness longer? Oh, I do not hold on to that. Okay, so we're going to put you at a little bit more of a aggressive or original decay. All right? So this is based on some of the old stuff. Okay? We're going to hit save settings. And now, let's go back to your home page. So where did you, where did you go to get to that? I did this inside of Tracy C. Account settings. I didn't even know you could set that. And... There you are right there, and we're going to go to Profile. Okay. Okay, so there's the profile. Now, we can play with these. I don't want to do this anytime just yet, okay? Um, I just don't. It does, I don't feel yeah, comfortable doing that, okay? And let's go back to that home page. And now, do you see this bullseye right here? Yeah. All right, so let's click on that. Okay, now, 
the first thing we want to do is change the advice as of. What so the bullseye is basically your goals and your settings. Goals, your target event. Your, yes, exactly. Okay. Now, what time of day do you usually go and ride either indoors or out? Um, if I'm able to, I like to get out between probably 10 and 1. But if I work, then I have to do it later. Okay, so I'm going to put it in as... If on the weekends, it'd be like, probably, where do we go out? Like, we usually go out no later than 9. Yeah. Um, but why don't we make it, why don't we go ahead and set it up for 9 a.m., okay? And the reason is, this is going to help us with the advanced, uh, adaptive training advisor. Now, do you believe that, um, I mean, if, okay, if you, these are the settings for the improvement rate. And I think that maybe moderate or aggressive is a little bit too much for you right now. And it's, this is what's setting you up for failure. So let's set you up now for either slow or moderate one because you cannot be as consistent as you would like. Okay, yeah. All right. Is that, just the, is that the build? That's the build. Okay. And so we're going to switch to moderate one. We're going to update the advice. Let it populate. And now let's go to training. Okay. All right. So think about this. Let's uh, actually let's go back to goals one more time and let's look at this. Do you did you feel what was your level of freshness today? Feel about that's in the middle. This is the middle. Zero is the middle. Probably right there. Negative twenty. Twenty. Let's go twenty. Okay, so we're going to go to negative twenty. I didn't 20. feel it wasn't awful, but I didn't feel great at all. Got it. Okay. It would have been okay to do base. Did you see how the dial just moved? Where was it before? It was, see how it was down there? And see how it's sort of what tossing around? I did it because we just changed the recovery. Okay? And so now, think about this. It's late, but t tomorrow morning, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to come back and, and repopulate this, this um, uh, uh, video. If you look, right now, you are actually on track. You're, lo you're behind, but you are on track for November the 20th. Because I'm in the gray. Because you're in the gray. In the gray in the bottom. And on the bottom ring, exactly. Now, if you're on the outside, you need to train. If you're on the outside in the forward, you need to tra training is not optional. You are at 11 o'clock on okay. the dot. So you said I was on the gray. What's the difference between the, the bottom ring and the top? Okay, the bottom ring says that as for pace, you are either behind, you are spot on, or you are ahead. Okay. Got that? If we look at the outside, you are either falling behind or you are ahead of plan. So what's the outside? The outside ring is train, see that? Or training option. Yeah, okay. But what's, I still don't understand the difference between what the outside and the inside is. Okay, let's go over this one more yeah. time. You if said the inside was. The inside is your pace. My pace of training. Your pace of training towards no towards your goal. Okay. Okay. So if it's red, you are falling behind on your macro plan. So I'm not getting as many workouts. You're in not getting as many workouts, and they're not as they're not they're not getting any okay. points. You're not okay. you're not on, you're not on target. Okay. Then you're then you know it's like okay everything's fine. I need you know, I am training. I need to train. Got it. See that window is between eleven o'clock and three o'clock. Okay. And then I'm ahead of plan. If I go way over here, I'm ahead of plan. Okay, got, it. got it? So if you went to a camp and did a whole bunch of miles and points, you would be ahead of plan. Okay. Now, if we look outside, the training is optional. See that? I can hardly, there it is, right there. See that outside ring called training optional? Meaning you can afford to take a day off. Got it? And then you've got the gray line. Now this really applies to the golden arrow or the blue arrow or the black arrow or the green arrow inside the needle. The needle best works with the outside ring. The diamond best works with the inside ring. Okay, so if you need to look at anything, that's where you need to look. Got it? That more than anything else, that's where you need to look because the needle tells you where you are, and the di and the triangle tells you where you're going so to be. So basically, I log on, 
And where, where the needle is right now is saying that you are. I, let me let me think out it right first. It's saying that um, I'm on track, but I need to train. Correct. Bottom is I'm on track. Top is I need to train. Correct. And if it would have moved over to the same spot on the other side, uh huh, it would still be I'm on track, but I don't need to train today. Okay. Okay. I got, it. got it. All right. Now, tomorrow morning. It was, it was, it's going to tell you that you have a training deficit of 140 points, all right? Ignore that. You are not going to earn 140 points at a slow pace. It's just, I mean, it, it's three or four hours outside. We rode. for two, we rode for an hour and 45 minutes on Saturday and I earned 73 points. Do you see that? It's just really hard to do it if you have a life. And so instead it's saying, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Go ride and get 40 points. 40 points at low intensity. And 40 points is a lot easier to achieve than 140. Make sense? Yeah. So here's what's gonna happen. Watch this. We're gonna go in to progression. Actually, we're gonna go into to planner. And we're gonna to go to the 30th. And we're gonna put 45 points in, okay? So let's just, just fake it. And the duration is going to be 60 minutes, okay? And we're going to call it um, rec ride, okay? This is what's if. Got it? Now there's your training pacer. Got it? Okay. Okay. And if we go back to training, let it populate. Notice how the red line just changed? So it takes that work on into account? Yeah. Even though you didn't do it yet? Right. Okay, that's part of the planner, and I haven't begun to work on that yet. But you can see, this is where you are right now, and if you do the workout tomorrow, you're gonna to be inching towards 12 o'clock. So the red means it's in the future? Correct, well, red is, is gonna mean you're, you're tired, but it also means that it's gonna be out there in the future, okay? Because it's above the needle. It's above the needle. Okay. Got it, okay, so now watch how, we're gonna delete it. And it'll go back. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, and there it is, all right. So yellow means you're tired, red means you're really tired, okay? Look at your current training status. Training status is very tired and you should consider a recovery activity of about 40 XSS. Got it? Given you still have a high de training deficit, moderate one and improvement of very tired status, you may want to consider a recovery week and reducing your, your improvement rate temporarily until your freshness returns. I don't think I need that. That's okay, I mean, don't worry about that. Um, but. It's also thinking that maybe you should get about nine and a half hours in. And again, we get a lot of hours in on weekends, which makes a big, big difference. Okay? All right. Um, now, one of the things that we need to do is this. If we go into activities and we go to Tuesday, Let it populate. Okay. Okay, we should be able to I guess it's not here. Um I'm just looking real quick. Okay, um, what instead we can do is this. 
when you feel good, go to the goals. and adjust your recovery. Okay, so when it's saying I'm tired, but I'm not. Right, so you, like if you feel better tomorrow, switch it back to zero. If you feel really- that and try to- try It's to, just something you're gonna have to remember. Okay, okay, so I won't like take what I'm not doing and, and tweak. It'll tweak it every time you change this, okay? So we're gonna go back to negative 21 right now, and we're gonna X out, because it's not gonna, we don't wanna save that, okay? Um, it's under goals, freshness okay. feedback, okay? And if we look, there's a thing that explains it. Okay. I'll read that later. Yeah, something to read later. Anyway. Where'd you get that? Uh, it's the question mark here under freshness feedback, okay? All right, um, so one of our goals for you is this. Let's look at one more thing, and it is this. If we go to your progression line, and I'm gonna switch it back to the last three months. And I'm gonna to go to this bronze medal. And then I'm gonna to go to the power duration curve. Okay. Now, remember, we are now set on parallel goals. And you should, in theory, it's theory, it's not fact, but in theory, you should be able to hold, right now, 215 watts for 20 minutes. And I know that seems impossible, okay? So what we want to do is raise that value as high as we can prior to November the 20th. Okay. Does that make sense? Because if we raise that number, we know it's gonna take at least 25 minutes. I mean, I can't that, do that right now, but I know I can do that. I was gonna say, I think you probably could, but you'd have to get eight hours of sleep, you'd have to have hydration, you'd have to be, you'd have to have a two, only two or 300 kilojoule warm up, and we'd have to have a very, very consistent piece of road. Do you see what I'm saying? And it would be, and you'd probably have to be paced because I tried it on you, Saturday and it just didn't work. Watts off that, I could do it. Well, see, that's just it. I went out and my goal said 280 watts on Saturday, and I made it to 263 or 253. I, can't I think in, in two months, if we train, I could do it. Right, if we train properly, I think we can do it. Now, one of the things I want to talk about with women especially is, and this is just me talking, from what I've seen in all these years, I suspect that women have a lower overall HIE than men do. And I don't have an answer as to why. I don't have a large sample, but I think that might be the case. The, 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 to, to, to change that would require changing from a 20 MMP to more like a three or a four MMP and really becoming a deep well crit type cyclist or mountain biker for, for rolling courses, not even some of the terrain that we deal with in, in Reno. But it still is, ni is a nice and noble goal to try to get that up. And that's one of the things that Tracy and I are gonna work on. Anyway, it's late. We're gonna render this and, um, and, and, and get it out to you uh, in the population. Thanks for watching and um, enjoy the ride.